Uh, Hi, I'm Will Murphy. I am the head of product at Ala. We're an intelligent agent company for business, so good for you to be intelligent agents. Our goal is to augment your employees using uh, intelligent agents via chat. Um, and I'm going to kind of go through, and I'll, I'll go through a, uh, a couple of concepts, kind of quick demo, and then kind of follow up in Q&A. So if we look at kind of the history of the last uh, few couple decades, we've kind of gone through this period of kind of connected period where you had the internet come on board, you had social, where you had, um, you, had um, you know, mobile devices, uh, come into play, which we're able to use the web and browser and create social sites. Then you kind of had uh, mobile and touch screens and all those kind of things come on board to create this kind of collaborative commerce age where you had Uber, uh, et cetera, come on board. And now I think we're moving into the age of intelligent automation where you're going to have everything, uh, as Kevin Kelly calls it, occupied. Um, so you're really adding artificial intelligence on top of kind of a natural language hybrid type interface in order to interact with people in the most efficient way to get tasks done. Um, so collaborative is, was kind of this transition period where you had humans with spare capacity and mobile devices and technology being able to use that spare capacity to get work done. Slowly over time, the AI will be able to step in and kind of do some of those tasks. Um, so Talent Task Assistant is, is really augmenting your current employees uh, is kind of playing a role in that. I think it's going to create a lot of, a lot of um, activity and new companies that, that are created in, this, uh, in the automated intelligence space. Everything from self-driving cars, all sorts of things enabled by artificial intelligence. Um, our particular product is around Talent Task Assistant, which is using Right now we're integrated with Slack. We've got we built a uh, capability where we can integrate with all sorts of different chat platforms. Um, our, our free product that we're going to go through really quickly here, and then you can get online yourself and, and download and connect it to your own Slack, manages group projects. So you're able to have a task list of your own. You're able to assign things to other people. Uh, and you can let Tala kind of get, get involved and remind people that they're supposed to do something. Uh, and also there's daily updates. So some very basic capabilities we have in Slack right now uh, fall into that category and I can run through kind of what we're, what we're looking at now and I'll kind of give you a view of the, uh, the next steps as well. So here's the current task list. Here's my task list that I've, I've asked to show my task list. Um, and I can kind of, I can do that and I can come in into Slack with Tala and add some additional tasks and then do that. And also, you know, I can assign to other people, so um, I can put things in other people's task list.
<laughs> so um, essentially, um, we're able to uh, communicate. You can actually come in here and say this in several different ways. So using natural language processing, you can say, you know, show to do this. You can kind of show them. You can type in some different ways and get those responses. So um, that is kind of the demo of kind of where we are now and where we're, where we're um, going next. So the next couple of weeks we'll come out with the what we call the Q and A bot, which is the capability to um, you know share important information. So you have that you know um, person in your organization that knows a lot of information. We want to allow them to train Tala to answer questions and going to save, it's going to save them time and it's also going to save time for the people that need to know the answers. And so there's a lot of different use cases for QA, so uh, that's kind of our next step. And then we also have office and onboarding kind of capabilities that we're looking at as well uh, that are on our roadmap. So the task list is free and out there right now. Tala is our uh, website you can go to and kind of check out where we are and where we're going. You can go to tala.com slash task.assistant. Uh, you can go to that URL to go get the free uh, to do task spot that we have available to Tala Task Assistant. And then stay tuned over the next couple of weeks, and we'll also have the capability to download a free version of the QA bot we use to train and have to answer questions for your team uh, to make your team more efficient. Um, I'm Will Murphy, VP of Product. That's my Twitter handle. Uh, Innovation Notes is my blog if you want to check out some more. Information when I, you know, I was talking about we're moving into the automated intelligence age. I've got a blog post on that that goes in a little bit more detail on that. So, Will Murphy on Twitter, innovationnotes.com. Rob May is our CEO. And if you're interested in artificial intelligence from the perspective of a layperson or an expert, that's a great uh, newsletter to sign up for and get regular email updates on all kinds of really, really interesting artificial intelligence. He shares latest articles. He has kind of original content as well, so that's a really great you know newsletter to sign up to, to get information in space. Uh, so, ready to move on to questions? Yeah, why is this better than specific applications than like Google Calendar, for example? Which you know, if I want to set up a meeting, there's already a fair amount of artificial intelligence. Built into that is visual, so I have a, you know, I get more out of the interface. So where does, where do you, what's your argument for why should use this instead of say Google Calendar? Right. So the question is, why is this better than uh, existing applications like Google Calendar? That's a great question. Uh, so this would be a layer on top of that. So an example would be if you have an actual assistant. Um, so we do have in the lab where we, you know, we are working on being able to interact with the calendar. That's not a public product that we have right now. But to give you an example why it would be better, this would actually be able to use artificial intelligence to do several other things. One would be uh, being able to get information that's in your employees' heads. A lot of the information we're going to be able to collect and have in our, in our products is information perhaps where you ask a question, and Tala says, well, I don't know, but I'm going to go find out. Tala goes then finds the expert and goes finds the answer uh, in a way that like a, you know, an entry level type employee would, and then come back to you with the right answer later and save that for later. So some of the information I think that Tala will be dealing with isn't in any system, it's in people's brains. Uh, the other answer to that would also be, I think it's a layer on top of your calendar. So an example would be if you need to um, do negotiation amongst multiple parties, you know, an intelligent agent can kind of step in and do that, which the calendar would actually rely on the person to maybe respond and accept or not accept. And over time, with artificial intelligence, these type of agents will be able to learn your, your um, preferences, uh, and so and also be able to act on your behalf in those ways. So it's, I think those applications will still be useful, uh, and I think the visual interface will still be useful. So it's really more of thinking about it as an abstraction layer on top of that, just as you would have an assistant doing some things for you that knows your preferences. How are you going to apply it to onboarding? I'm 
I'm sorry? How are you looking to apply it to onboarding employees? Sure, yeah, we're looking at onboarding, which is really exciting. We've had uh, a lot of different size companies want to do that, so to, to use that type of capability. So onboarding would be more of uh, Tyler shows up and uh, says, you know, welcome, you're a new employee or you're new on this, this project, and use the, the bot as more of a the bot training humans type model. So you've kind of got two models here where you've got the human training talent to be more intelligent, but you've also got, um, from some perspectives, HR in particular is one area that we're interested in uh, that we're, we're talking to people about. And you're able to kind of take um, information that the company wants to the, the person to learn and kind of having the bot train them. So uh, the intelligent assistant would be able to uh, maybe dribble the information out or drip that information out over several days. Like, do you have a moment right now? Yes, and then kind of come and give you some information or collect some information from you. And then show up and kind of um, take tiny bits of your time over several days as opposed to saying, here's an employee manual, that's 500 pages, take four hours, read it, nobody, nobody reads it and then get back to me later, and then you feel like you've been onboarded your employee, whereas if you're time constrained or you're in management, you're having the understanding that somebody interacted with an intelligent agent, and then you can kind of verify responses and what happened when, and those kind of things, you actually can get better, you can get potential better training of, of humans using intelligent agents as well. Um, outside of HR, what are some of the other core applications for this technology? So the question is, uh, outside of HR, what are some good areas uh, for this technology? Um, we think ultimately everywhere, but I think currently, kind of roadmap-wise, definitely, um, you know, HR training uh, people, call center type training, uh, time constrained, people that need answers to things immediately. Any, anytime you have uh, an aspect of, especially around the narrowing just down on the Q&A product for a moment, anywhere you have what's called kind of a subject matter expert, SME inside of an organization that's being, they're working 12 hours a day or whatever, that would be an opportunity. So that would be HR, that would be product, that would be sales, that would be support. There's a lot of different areas where you know, instantaneous answers that you can get, you know, at any time that used to be in someone's head that you could now talk to an intelligent agent. I think there's there's some value there. So that would be a start. Question here. Uh, do you have a voice activated assistant in your uh, roadmap? So the question is, do we have a voice activated assistant in our roadmap? Uh, we are considering that. I would say that right now we are text-based. Uh, we are slot-based. Architecturally, though, we are we control our entire stack all the way from interface to chat, you know, platforms all the way to natural language processing and AI, etc. So, um, what we're going to be able to do is consider every type of integration, every type of chat platform. First of all, right? Slack is our first. We have others in the pipeline first that we'll, we'll probably get to before we get to. Uh, voice, but I do think we'll get to the voice, but I think it's going to be, uh, I think we're going to spend some time uh, with multiple chat platforms first. 